Hello. In this screencast, I'm going to show the application specific dashboards feature of Emon CMS called Apps. You can access the Apps uh, feature from the top bar here. There are currently four different uh, types of apps available. Uh, you've got MyElectric. MyElectric is uh, really a simple home energy dashboard type app. Uh, it shows how much electricity you're using on a daily basis and how much electricity you're using now up here on the left. Um, the the, uh, the page is uh, semi-responsive, so if I change the, su the size of the page to simulate a, a tablet, the, the, uh, the daily data redraws. Uh, again, if I do the same for a mobile view, um, you'll see the daily data, it'll show uh, less bars on the page. So um, if we now want to configure this uh, app, you click on the, the spanner icon up here, and you can select from the drop-down menu uh, the, the power feed that you want to use and also the accumulating watt hours or the accumulating kilowatt hour feed um, that you would like to use. And you click save here to configure and that's your MyElectric uh, dashboard. Uh, so the next one we've got here is the MySolar uh, app. This is a new edition recently um, and it's for showing, um, for comparing solar PV generation with home consumption. Um, and for exploring the level of matching um, that you can achieve between solar PV uh, generation and home consumption. So um, in yellow here is the solar PV generation and it's my, this is my cons electricity consumption in blue. And, uh, and in the last 24 hours I haven't, ha haven't achieved particularly good uh, levels of matching but if I go back, uh, back a couple of days I think I've got some better examples here. This is a, a, an example of um, charging uh, an electric car when the sun is shining. And here I've got a much greater level of matching. I've got um, the solar is now supplying 50% of the energy consumption and 50% of it's coming from the grid. So that's the, the My Solar app. Um, the next app we've got is the My Heat Pump app. This is for if you've got a heat pump. I haven't got a heat pump uh, yet here, but um, we've been working with John Cantor in Machinchied on heat pump monitoring and uh, using this dashboard. And when, th when the heat pump is running, this, this little um, fan here uh, turns and you have the temperatures on the, on the graphic here updating in real time, as well as the ability to explore uh, the historic temperature data and power data here in this, in this graph at the bottom. Uh, the last app that we have is the My Solar and Wind app, which is actually very similar to uh, the uh, My Solar app, just that it brings in real-time data from the UK uh, wind power output. And uh, this is just a way of, um, you know, if you're getting your electricity from a, a green tariff and you know that, um, say, 70% of that electricity is coming from wind power, then you can... Um, you can configure this dashboard uh, here by clicking again on the spanner and clicking how click and putting into this box here how many kilowatt hours um, you're um, purchasing from your green tariff from wind on an annual basis, and it will then use that figure to um, scale the the amount of available wind power here in green that you have. So um, if I click save again and I click on um, the last month. You can see here the wind power in, in green. And uh, it, it's um, quite interesting really to look at the wind power output and uh, look at it in comparison with the solar PV because obviously often in the night you then have some power available to you. Um, and it's generally more consistent, um, but obviously it doesn't spike to such a great extent that the solar PV does. Um, so those are the the uh, four apps that we have available at the moment in Emon CMS, and um, we're, we're we're hoping to extend on these and and build more features into them. Um, but um, yeah, I mean that's a bit of an overview of what we have so far. Thank you.